Bluestacks, Nox Player, LD Player, Game Loop, Mimu, Mumu, Mimo Mumu. Which of the six Android emulators for PC is the best? That's the million dollars question. First and foremost, this video took way longer to complete than I am comfortable with, because apparently installing and configuring six emulators at the same time, as well as installing games on all of them, is a time-consuming task. Hence my refusal to test Genshin Impact for this video. Imagine installing that game 6 times. Straight out of the bat, after installing them, my first impression is that they all look the same. Except Game Loop, all of them have the same sidebar with pretty much the same options and features. You can customize them all in the same way, give them all the same amount of cores, RAM memory, storage, resolution, graphic settings and so on. Heck, they even have the same ad placement. If you look at them and you have no idea what they are, you would think that you're looking at the same thing over and over again. Game Loop is the only one that differs in that regard, but just because it's an Android emulator for games only and cannot be used for other type of apps. I mean, of course, you can use it for Netflix and stuff like this, but not for tools and other type of utility apps. As for the Android version, it's pretty much the same here as well. Even if Bluestacks has an Android 11 version, which is still in beta, they all run on a stable Android 9 version. For some games, such as Call of Duty, it's even recommended to go back to Android 7 which can be done through multi instances on pretty much all of them. Okay, so they all look the same, have the same layout, the same options, the same features, the same Android version and can all have the same specs. Good, but then what makes them different? What sets apart one from another? I mean, simply put, which one is the best and why? Regarding the installation, LD Player, Game Loop and Mumu Player come directly with the latest Android version available for each one individually, while Bluestacks, Nox Player and Mimu Player are equipped with Android 7 by default and you'd have to create a new instance to install Android 9. It's a little more hassle but at the same time you have two Android versions to choose from. And here, it's again something very similar, as in if you know how to add an instance on one emulator, then you know how to add it to all of them. And if you are interested in learning more about instances and emulators, I do have a video, a full guide for Bluestacks, from installing to settings and instances. You can find the link to that video in the description, right next to the link of another video about PUBG for PC versus PUBG on emulator. Because I'm most familiar with it, I still started the test with Bluestacks, and as usual, it did not disappoint. It took some moments in the beginning where the game was kind of laggy, but it recovered fast and it went smooth all the way. I've tested the game at both Ultra and HD settings and both versions went well. I am not the type to put much attention on how crystal clear the game is when using an emulator, because it will never match the quality of a phone or a tablet. Can be the same game with the same settings and it will still look much better on the phone. So the way it looks on the computer really doesn't matter to me. What's important is how it runs, how it performs. And at HD resolution, the image is somewhere in the middle and the performance is more than adequate. What I like the most about Bluestacks is that you don't have to tinker much with the settings or game controls until you get what you want. The key mapping is great, no complaints whatsoever, in my case, personally speaking, the layout was exactly where it should be. It was also very intuitive, so I would guess that someone who starts playing PUBG, Free Fire or Call of Duty for the first time on an emulator will not have a hard time adjusting. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same things about Nox Player, which default key mapping made absolutely no sense to me, especially after switching from Bluestacks. Of course, you could argue that you can customize it however you want, and while that is correct, you are right about that, I do find it a million times better when I don't have to. I like to install and enjoy the game. The longer I spend on settings and controls, the more frustrated I get and then there's no fun. So if I don't have to worry about key mapping, then that's perfect with me. And this is not even the only bad thing that I have to say about Nox. The whole experience was negative in my opinion. The game was laggy, stuttery, it happened more than once to get stuck on a fixed point and then unable to move left or right or up or down or whatever. And this surprised me because it's unexpected from Nox Player which is regarded by some people as the best Android emulator for PC or at least the second best after Bluestacks. But what really surprised me in a good way was LD Player, an Android emulator that I have personally never used before but which is very similar in performance to Bluestacks, believe it or not. 
For some moments, I even had the feeling that LD player performed better than Bluestacks. If you remember from earlier, I said that Bluestacks was sort of lagging in the beginning, in the first moments of playing. Well, this was not the case with LD player. Of course, this could all be a coincidence, but what's for sure and important is that the performance wasn't any lower than that of Bluestacks. The key mapping was also good, there were some small differences here and there which I needed time to learn, but the majority of the layout was the same, and by the same I mean good. The next emulator is again another one that was a first for me, I never used it before, Mimu Play had a solid performance, despite the crash in the beginning and some slight differences in key mapping, the game felt really good and smooth on this emulator. Until, <laughs> until I jumped in a car one of those buggies and could not, for the life of me, could not get out of it. I literally tried every single key on the keyboard and even so I could not get out of the car. I don't know what was wrong, if it was a glitch or there is no key for getting out, usually it's the same key as going in, F or E or G depending on the emulator, but no matter what I tried here I could not go out. So I had to win and kill everyone while driving. It was a fun round and the emulator performed decently, but it was not my main choice. It would be a choice, an option, but not my first one. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same thing about its counterpart, Mumu Player, which performed horribly in my test. It was the only emulator where I had to give up the round and stop playing because it was impossible. The game was laggy, stuttery, freezing and the mouse refused to work. It was locking all the time and I could not change positions. I was staring mostly at the ground or in the sky or walking sideways like a crab. So yeah, Mumu Player is definitely out of the question. And the last but not least is Gameloop, which previously used to be the only emulator able to run PUBG and Call of Duty without getting banned. Being developed by Tencent, the same company behind PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile, and behind everything else on this planet, Gameloop is considered the official emulator for these games. Playing PUBG, Call of Duty and so on on Gameloop is a really really great experience. Personally I would put it right there with Bluestacks in some cases and some points even higher. Let me explain. After testing Game Loop, I went back and gave Bluestacks one more try with the same settings as Game Loop, because in Game Loop you cannot use Ultra for the moment, the highest is HDR. So I went back and changed the same settings for Bluestacks, and both emulators performed exceptionally. The only difference is that with Game Loop, at the same settings, the graphics appear significantly better than with Bluestacks. More detailed, more clear, and just a more pleasant viewing experience. But as far as the performance goes, I simply cannot choose between one or the other. Choosing a winner was a difficult task for me. I like the way games are presented graphically on Game Loop, and I also like the idea of having a complete phone or tablet simulation on my PC for any type of apps. So my final thought is that Mumu Player is definitely on the last spot, followed by Nox Player, yeah I'm still surprised about that, Mimu on the third position, LD Player on the second, and Game Loop and Bluestacks both on the first. Both on top because in the end it depends on what you prefer. If you only need an emulator for gaming and don't need any other tools or utilities, Game Loop is the app for you. It offers great performance with the best graphics. If you need a complete smartphone or tablet simulation for more types of apps, then you can count on Bluestacks. But what they both offer in equal proportions is the gaming performance. And that's what really matters in this case. 